Hey YouTubers, this is uh, Gail from Altered Autos Diecast. Hadn't shot a video in quite some time. I've been rearranging again in my work slash display room. Uh, this case here where my tools are and my workbench is what I added. That's an all metal case and workbench. I put the pegboard in it and put my tools in there and some shelves up top for my paint. Uh, that's paint, paint stuff, paint supplies and paints sandpaper and some uh, other tools and whatnot and uh, working on putting my paint booth in right here in the window on my desk in the middle then there's my workbench over in the corner with my golf display and of course that's my other displays uh, everything else is the same except uh, my diorama that I had in my other videos it's a mess since I moved everything around I lost some shelving and so i've got to figure something out for all of this it may just go into storage there are a bunch of pieces there um, also moved this display which used to be where this metal workbench is actually it was where that desk is under the window but i moved it over here with all my gift packs and then i've got some some new uh hauls from i got off ebay there on top Let's see if I can get a closer shot there. Some street rods there. And uh, then above that, of course, is the cabinet. That's what made me rearrange everything that fell off the wall. It had all my M2s in it, which I've yet to get back in my room either because of the lost shelving. But uh, I've, I had this cabinet fell off and, and knocked everything off the diorama and all my M2s fell out. So I had to fix the cabinet. And you can see where I put just behind that shelf there's one and then there's another up here i had to put some uh bracing in it and and screw those to the studs in the wall so it wouldn't fall off so i'm rebuilding not uh cabinets not full yet but i've got some stuff in there there's all my momo stuff i've got a new momo i i got on my last haul that i'm going to show on this video some of my muscle cars and uh dragsters whatnot m2 and hot wheels and uh Let's see, I guess that's all that's in there right now. And again, over here, some hot, some M2s, but that, that's not near all of my M2s. Some of my car haulers in this shelf with some uh, funny cars on them and some dragsters. Just show a quick shot of those. That's my mail trucks. And another car hauler with the funny cars. A couple more of them and a homemade car hauler there out of the old car culture gas tanker the older coe tanker made that a car hauler and got a dragster on it another dragster on a car hauler uh, up top of the cabinet i've got my m2 uh i guess you'd call them model kits that come with the pieces you put together i've got more to go up there that's all i've got up there right now and of course this shelving over here is all the same still got a lot of johnny lightnings and uh oh auto world to go on the pegboard there got to get some hooks and all of that's the same except for you can see this shelf's kind of bare i'm that's mustangs i'm gonna put all my mustangs up there and there are a bunch in this pile that i gotta get up there and then above that is gonna be all my novas and again they're in this mess too uh diorama is just a mess right now my orange collection the same over there and that's pretty much it guys on my room now i've got a a small haul here i'm going to show in this video as i mentioned i picked up a a momo car at the flea market that i had never seen you guys have probably seen it and if you have leave a comment down below in the comment section but uh this is one i just never seen until i seen this in the flea market and i had to had to pick it up it's hot wheels open track it's a Mercedes-Benz with the Momo livery on it, uh, 190E, 2.5 through 1.6. It's real riders, uh, metal on metal. On metal. Um, yeah, Mercedes-Benz, Momo livery. I've got to open that up and put it with my other Momos. I'm not going to open it on camera right now. Behind that, on the workbench, you can see what I've got going on. I've cut this little dude all up. It's going to have a bed dancing kit on it. Front clip's going to open up. Uh, of course, I've got that engine in there. I'm going to put a bed cover on there so all you see is the, the top of the engine. There's my tow truck. 
behind that uh, pretty well done except uh, I'm trying to show that this hook really works tow hook does it goes up and down and uh, if I can get a close-up show you what I've done here colored the blower green on top and I'm putting green braided if I can get that in the light green braided spark plugs on it I showed this in another video got a couple of them on there they're not all there yet but they will be uh, of course I'm gonna put some smoke stacks right here where the exhaust is up the side of the back of the cab and I've got to get rid of this set of wheels I'm just gonna take them wheels off and uh, shave the flare down on the back of that and then put a piece of metal in there and, and some little body filler and paint it to match it's got a pearl white on it I think I've got some pearl white uh, put some stacks on that and get rid of them wheels and that'll be done uh, let's see what else you can see the stacks right there I'm gonna put on that that hauler uh, this that's in 510 wagon that's uh, ready for paint I'm gonna scuff that and paint it I don't like that paint job I'm gonna leave the same wheels on it and paint it it may be a metallic maroon something to go with those wheels I'm not sure what color I'll go yet but uh, that's ready for paint check this truck out I'm gonna make the door suicide doors on this thing and put a new interior in it got the doors off get it close up there got the doors cut off got to put some hinges on them. Uh oh got to put some hinges on them uh, I'm gonna put a new interior in there I didn't cut the side of the interior out on that side I did on this side but it's kind of what it leaves when you cut the interior that side of the interior out is pretty messy so I'm gonna put a whole new interior in that and suicide doors perhaps a dead bed dancing kit I'm not sure yet tried to save the paint but I scratched them doors up pretty good with the coping saw so I'm not sure it may I may keep the paint on the rest of the truck and just primer the doors make it look like a work in, in progress and I'm tempted to cut the top off make it a convertible I don't, I'm not sure yet right now I'm working on the doors I gotta get hinges on them what else uh, gonna make a drag a dragster out of this I'm not gonna lift it up because it doesn't have the chassis in it but you can see the motors I'm putting in it quad, quad motors and uh, could put some big old beefy wheels on the back and a bed cover that'll lift up and some pizza cutter front wheels and that'll be a drag drag van i should say uh cab the cabs of these are ready for paint what that front one's a nova the back one is the 85 chevy uh ash is it astro star van let me get the cab here it's the drag van i just don't like the they put the peanuts on it so yeah that's going to get painted i'm going to paint that uh, not give that a nice paint job i'm going to keep the the real rider gold wheels and all on it and i may even hinge the body where it'll lift up like a funny car now this one here is a nova wagon and it's another one of those that they've painted with a silly paint job i just hate that they ruin those that's a nice rod when you put it all together nova wagon what is that about a 68 nova wagon real rider wheels nice blue glass but they ruined it with this snow caps paint job so yeah that's going to get painted uh, what else got my tanker my uh, square body chevy with the old car culture gas tanker back in i'm gonna put dually wheels on it it's almost ready it's ready for paint and i'm gonna have to create an interior and glass for it because i've lost those when we moved somehow that got lost i put i thought i put them in my boneyard but they're not there so anyway that's ready for paint and then i really don't know what i'm doing with this yet i just cut the top off of it that's another one of the car cultures with the real riders and of course i've robbed the real riders off of this thought it about just making it one big convertible but i may just trash that i don't know <clears throat> got enough going on as it is this is up here to rob the real riders off of it was another one with Star Wars paint job on it. I painted this with markers, permanent markers, just to get the Star Wars off, and I still didn't get it all hidden. But anyway, uh, I've got more than one of this casting, and uh, this one here I'm going to rob the real riders off of. They may go on the drag bus. I'm not sure. 
uh, gonna start yeah I showed you I've, I've, I've cut this one all up I'm gonna make it a uh, where the all the parts move I'm gonna make a little mini truck club this is gonna be one of them and put a bed dancing kit on that as well uh, it's probably all I'll do to that one is just cut the bed and then there's another mini truck I'm gonna add to the club uh, again it'll probably get a bed dancing kit and maybe a blown engine or something of that nature I'm not sure but I'm gonna make four or five little mini trucks for a mini truck club scene and that's what's on the workbench right now just some odds and ends that i'm working on this back here was a donor car it's already tore up you know those tuned car hot rods that they put the big blown engines in those are nice donors and of course that engine's in the back of this volkswagen uh well, what do they call those little volkswagen trucks i forget now tell me in the comments it's on the bottom of that but i'm not picking it up right now because it's not together Anyway, that's what's going on here at Altered Autos, guys. I've got a few more pieces in this haul that I'll show off here. Uh, there's one I picked up at Walmart I didn't have, and it'll go, see if I can get a good shot of this. You know where my, my uh, monster jams and monster trucks are. That's as close as I can get right now. I built those shells, and that's where all my monster trucks are. And this Jada truck will go in there. I've got some other Jadas up there. I didn't have this one though, so uh, well, I take that back. I do have that one up there. I can see it from here, but it's got different variation. It's got uh, black wheels. This one has chrome, and I believe from here, looking at that blue one that's up there, right there, I believe that's a ta taco. That looks like a Toyota in the front. I can't remember, and I can't get over there right now. So, uh, I believe that's that's a Taco, and this is a Chevy, and chrome wheels, and that one has black. So it's not the same truck, and this one will go up in that collection. That was another piece I picked up over the weekend. Went to a bunch of flea markets, and I went to one that had 75 vendors, and talked myself out of a bunch of Hot Wheels. I just couldn't wouldn't let myself spend the money, but I did pick up a few. There's a, oh, what do they call that, the coffer racer. I've got that in white and blue, but this one has moon eyes. And you know, if anybody's watched my other videos, this set up here, this is all mostly moon eyes, uh, mostly M2s, but I've got Hot Wheels up there as well. But this moon eyes will go good in that collection, so I had to pick that up. Uh, one of the few I picked up over the weekend with all the Hot Wheels I've seen. Man, I've seen a bunch of good ones. You guys ever in Arkansas, you got to make it to Hot Springs. There are some flea markets down there where they're full of Hot Wheels. And there's a couple other flea markets in Benton that are full of Hot Wheels if you ever make it that way. Here's another one that I picked up. And it's another one of those silly Star Wars cars, but it's a delivery wagon. 70 Chevelle delivery no windows in the back. That's gonna make a sharp hot rod real riders on it already And it's got that jacked up stance. I may slam it I don't know but it, you put a blown motor in that and give it a nice paint job if you could just get the Star Wars tampos off of that And it's got that sparkle flake uh, Silver on it man. That's a nice piece if you can get that crazy stuff off I'm not against Star Wars, but I don't like it on cars so anyway that was the last piece from that haul. I got four pieces after looking at all those Hot Wheels I looked at over the weekend. Unbelievable. Show you a t new tool I got here. Daughter picked this up for my birthday. It's one of those mini sanders, mini uh, belt sander. <clears throat> I've got it bolted down here. I, I made some clamps that it would slide in. I bolted them to the shelf and it slides right in under these. There's one here and one in the back. There's the power switch. Little thing works good. runs well and it, it really grinds well so that was one handy tool you can tell i've been using it there one handy tool and it came with a lot of extra belts different grits and whatnot so yeah that was one handy tool there got my little mini mini uh buffer and grinder wheel there uh, all my metal working tools are here and i'll tell you why because and there's some over here behind the drill press I'm starting to build stuff, build parts, uh, like these doors. I may, instead of putting these original doors back on that truck, I may make my own doors with a hinge on them 
and to fill the the saw saw blade gap because you know anytime you cut something you leave the gap of the blade so these doors are really too short i may make some doors and and pre-install the hinges on them and paint the uh panels on the inside and you know i'm i don't know what i'll do in, in aesthetics because like i said i may leave them primered on the outside just to make it look like a work in progress if i paint them a color then i'm gonna have to paint the whole truck and i kind of like the job that's on there already so i'm not sure i know i will make some doors for it they'll probably just be painted primer on the outside and i'll match them to the interior on the inside once i make the interior but yeah this is my setup and these shelves here if i can back out they're in front of my closet but i went ahead and put some casters on them i robbed these casters off of an old utility uh, laundry basket that rolled that you can move around the house we didn't use it any longer so these are long pieces of plastic with a caster in the front and a caster back in the back of the shelves on each end so i can swing these out of the way of the closet right up against the front of this workbench when i get done for the day and close up shop uh mess of wires there i've got my plug-in dremel there uh, i've got this uh grinding wheel and i've got my mini mini vac uh, a lot of stuff plugged into that my drill press and then this light that i'm using on the workbench oh man what else have i got plugged in here i've got some lights up top of this workbench there's a street light and uh railroad track light up there somewhere they flash they're plugged into this outlet uh, my air tank for my airbrush is plugged into that outlet this hose is i just bought a new one of these this one's broke so that's a mess in the corner of wires but you can see my battery for my wireless dremel and this is my corded dremel i keep burning all my tools up and breaking them because this sucker spins so fast uh it's broke here it sheared off the little lock pin because it goes so fast and so now i've got to put something in there to hold the shaft still to change out the tool but the sucker spins so fast you get to cutting metal you heat that little tool up and the whole shaft of the tool either bends or breaks off so i gotta watch it with that thing keep on using the cordless here's some customs i've built this is one of the first ones i've done there is a homemade surfboard in there with that that was there's no back window so it was laying on the bed cover there through the back window got a blown engine up front sticking out of the doghouse up through the windshield you can see it there i flipped the chassis on that and slammed the wheels on it old dodge bus i cut the top off and then i just after i cut the top off i cut the sides off the top and lowered the top down into the bed and uh not a nice paint job but uh just something to play with is all that was one of my first customs there's another bus underneath it bw bus i uh i slammed that and then put a spoiler on the back's so all i did with that got an ignorant paint job on it from factory i don't like that paint job but i never did repaint it here's another custom one of those fat trucks i cut the top off and painted it gave it a red and silver interior got the chrome shift knob if you can see it down there and then back on the back we got the bed cover with the red to match the interior and a black stripe and silver to match the chrome all over the truck i chromed out the front end there and re-chromed the wheels and chromed out the tail lights and the exhaust not a bad looking piece huh See if I can get it in the light a little better. There you go. And guess what I painted it with? You can tell. Magic marker. <laughs> That's uh, before I had my airbrush anywhere near out, and it's still not ready to go. So, yeah, I just fixed this up with black magic marker. Black and red. And, of course, my chrome pin. You see I got the hood scoops. That makes it look like a Dodge Ram, doesn't it? So, yeah, that's that. And then this car kind of matches it. This Beamer. Uh, I also did this can convertible. Cut the top off. It's got the chrome interior, which I don't like. But uh, cut the top off of it and painted over it with a marker. It was maroon and gray originally. And you can see the maroon coming out from underneath. It's not a good job. It was another play toy, just playing when I didn't have anything to do, which is not the case anymore, as you can see behind it. Got plenty to do now. I got a couple that I'm doing for other people. 
and like I said, I'm starting to make parts and things. So if you got something you want, you need made, or you want me to remod a Hot Wheels, just let me know. I won't charge much. Uh, it's a hobby for me. It's a passion, but I also want to start making an income with it. So a small income. So yeah, if you got something you need made or fixed or or, or uh, just drawn out or whatever you're doing, I can do it. Let me know, guys. Hit me up. Give me a comment below, and I'll answer it. If you want, if you need my phone number for text or email or whatever just let me know again this is altered autos this is gail i appreciate you guys in the hobby i love what you do i watch your videos and i like them all i subscribe and uh, just ask if you would do the same please and share me out there so uh, i can get a little income going on this thing like i said i love to do it i treat everybody right um, once the product's done i make sure it's a good good done product worth the money and i send it back to you and, and hopefully you're happy with it it's a passion for me so i'm not out here to rip anybody off it's a passion and a hobby i don't have time to rip people off i'm a i have a full-time job and i'm a full-time pastor and i'm doing this on the side so uh, i'm not out to crook anybody just want to have a little income with my hobby uh, again altered autos die cast i've got other videos check them out uh now that i've got my workbench working and in order and my paint booth's almost done. I'll be shooting more videos. I've got a lot of stuff coming up for paint, so uh, you guys might want to look out for that. I've got some nice paints, some candy colors, some trick paint, and I can mix some colors. I'm, uh, I've been into that for quite a few years with airbrush paints and uh, painting actual automobiles. So, yeah, look forward to that, and I'll have those out on video soon. Uh, just know that... Uh, Whatever you got out there, keep doing it. At least I'm watching. I know other people are watching. There's thousands out there. Uh, thank you all for that. Have the, subscribed. And I'm um, coming up, trying to work up on 200 subscribers. Once I do, I'm sure I'll have some kind of um, blowout for the, 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 that one, that person. That is the, the 200th, 200th, <laughs> the 200th subscriber. Um, again, I appreciate you guys. I, I love doing this and to have a group of guys that are in it and love it too it's just wonderful i wish we could get together uh, make a club or something um i don't know how many people on here are in arkansas or close to arkansas but i'd like to get a some sort of club going so uh, if you're interested in that sort of thing let me know about that as well once again guys i appreciate you god bless you i'm out i also want to make a, a shout out in this video to Oliver's World of Wheels. Oliver, I, I want you to know I appreciate the stickers you gave me. Uh, this is one of them right in the middle of my workbench. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see it over here. The side of this workbench, I'm not going to be able to get it. The tops, the top and the sides of this workbench are full of stickers. Uh, and I'm going to make this one full of stickers as I come along stickers. Uh, you got the first one on my workbench, buddy, in the center. And then you also got the center top of this display over here. I appreciate those stickers, Oliver. Shout out to you, and I encourage any of y'all, if you want to watch an, a, a smart young kid with Hot Wheels and what he's doing with his collection, uh, check Oliver's World of Wheels out. Uh, just a shout out to him. I appreciate him. He sent me some stickers. He's my bud. So, uh, yeah, go check him out. Oliver, I want you to know I'm going to send you a package, too, shortly. Uh, so uh, be on the lookout for that. I appreciate you, bud.